Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can create hotspots on your slides so you can quickly jump around your presentation without anybody knowing what you're doing. I also want to show you how you can add an animated GIF into the Slide Master so it will run on every slide as you present. So first of all, if I put this presentation into full screen, you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. So I'll just put this into full screen. So what I've got in the top right hand corner is a little video playing with a flowchart of a process just running um, over and over again on a loop. So that's just uh, an animated GIF that I've done there. Now in the top left hand corner, as you can see, if I move my mouse over there, I've got my hand. If I click that, it will take me to the index of this presentation. And if I click on one of these hyperlinks, it will take me to that slide. And then again, I can go back to the index slide, back to the index and so on. So this is what I'm going to recreate. This is a hotspot, which I've got on every slide. And this is an animated GIF, which I've also got on every slide. So if I just press escape for that for now, come back to this. So what I've done is I've removed the, the animated GIF and the hotspot so I can recreate those. But what I want to do first of all is just get a blank slide at the bottom and create recreate the flowchart that I did. So I've got a blank slide and I'm just going to change the layout to blank and then use the shape symbols to bring in the shapes that I want. So I'll just bring a rectangle in like so. And then I'm going to do Control D a few times to just replicate that and then position that where I want it to be. I don't want it to be too big, but let me just push it down there. Now I also want a circle. So to get a circle, you just need to hold your Shift key down and then draw the circle and position it where you want it to be. And then it's simply putting the connectors on. However, you want the connectors snap into position. So I want this elbow connector coming out of the, the top rectangles into the bottom one, like so. And then from the circle into the last two, snapping into position. Now once I've done this, what I want to do is animate this little diagram. Get myself a straight line because that wants to go across there. That's how I did it. Like that. So this is going to be order. That's the order database process just change the font down a little bit on there so I'm doing control square bracket down one and then um, ship and file that'll do for this so to animate this let's get the animation pane on the screen so animation pane is on the screen so let's move it across a little bit so I can see it so I want this, I hold my shift key down, that arrow, and that to come in first. So I'm going to use add animation, dissolve in. That's what I prefer. So it's that one. Then these lines, the process circle, and this line coming in next. So add animation, dissolve in. So I'm going into more entrance effects to get this, dissolve in. And then last but not least, these two boxes and lines at the bottom, I want those to come in and dissolve in as well. Dissolve in. Okay. Now, if I put that into full screen, let's have a look. Click. Yep. Yep. Happy teddy bear. That's what I want. So now what I want to create is a animated GIF of this slide. When you go into File, Export got the option there to create an animated GIF and it's picking up all the slides but I just want the last slide so I need to go slide 8 to 8 and then the time I want this to be is one second I can do that two seconds let's do it for two seconds you create the GIF it asks you to name and save it um, I'll call it flowchart 1 and I'll put it into documents save and then I can delete this slide because I don't want that slide to be in here anymore because I want to put that GIF into the slide master so it sits in the top right hand corner 
So to get into the slide master, I need to go to the view tab and slide master. And I need to do it for every slide. So I need to be on the very top one. Otherwise, it'll just be this type of slide that it's on. But that might be an option you want. If you just want it to be on these bullet list slides, you just select this one. But if you want it to be on every slide, you select the top one, which is what I'm going to do. And then it's a case of inserting that GIF from documents. So insert pictures, this device. And you want to be in documents, because that's where I put it. Flowchart 1 is what I called it. And then it comes in quite large. I just need to make this a little bit smaller, quite a bit small. This is just example purposes, but to be honest, you might want to push that up to the top you might want to make it a little bit bigger than that it's totally up to you but it's whatever you want to show it could be a, a, a film it could be a process like this is but that's just going to go around and round um i'm just going to shove it off the slide a little bit so it's right in the top corner like so so if i just quickly close this you can see that that is playing on every slide as i go through this presentation it's on the title slide so that process is probably a bit too small to see um, I'm just going to go back into the slide master and make that a little bit bigger. Top slide. Let's just make that a bit bigger. Doesn't want to be too intrusive. See what that looks like. Okay, and if I put that into full screen, it's a lot clearer in full screen. You can see it there running in the corner. Press escape to that. Now the hotspot, I want to be on the other side. So I need to go back into the slide master again. So slide master making sure I get onto the top one and I want to do a, a rectangle there so insert shape rectangle just a small rectangle push it into the corner and now I need to do a hyperlink on that so back to insert link now in this box you've got place in this document could be a web page you're doing it to or that or an email but I want it placed in this document and I want it always to hyperlink back to the index slide because I'm putting it on this one, it's going to be on every slide. Okay. Now I don't want the color there. I want it to be see-through. So I need to format the shape a little bit. So if I go into that, shape fill wants to be on no fill. Shape outline, no outline. So I can't see it. Once I click away, I can't see it. Close the slide master. Can't see it in this, in this view at the minute. But if I put this into full screen... That's running in the corner. That'll take me to the index. And then I've got hyperlinks already on the index to take me to the relevant sections. And that was just done exactly the same way as what I did in the slide master. So you can navigate quickly to the index slide if you want. And then you don't have to start right clicking, see all slides and doing all this stuff because everybody else can see what you're doing. Whereas this is a bit more subtle and you're in control totally of what you want to do. And you can put hyperlinks across the top if you want to different areas, as long as you know what each hyperlink does. You know, because some of these sections, for example, that could be, um, that's not a good example, let's go to Word. Each one of these could have their own slides and you might want to have a set of hyperlinks across the top there to take you to each of these sections. So hyperlinks within a section, it's totally up to you. It just helps you manage a, a presentation. I would only do that if I wanted to use this PowerPoint presentation all the time. If I was just a one-off, I probably wouldn't bother doing that. Uh, and this, you know, you might find this gets slightly annoying if it goes on too long, but it's, it's a tool that you can use. So hopefully this video has been of use to you. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.